so the griddle mat might just be the answer to a whole bunch of issues that I have with my griddle. So mine has arrived, so let's unbox it and let's check it out. Okay, so here is my griddle mat that has arrived. So let's open it up. So right now, this is a fairly new company. They only have a couple of products available, but I hear they're working on some more. So first of all, this first thing in my box is the griddle mat holder, which we'll look at a little bit more closely in just a minute. And then here is the griddle mat itself. So let's check this out. Hmm. tear into it here. So what this is, if you're not familiar, is a silicone mat. I like that it's silicone that is intended to go on top of your flat top griddle in order to help protect it. So I got it out of the plastic here. So it looks like it comes with this tag. This tag says, Attention, remove griddle mat before heating. So this is probably intended to go, oh, it says right here, place on igniter button. This is supposed to be a nice little uh, reminder for you to uh, remove this. Even though it's silicone and it does resist some heat, um, this is a nice little thing to just kind of stick on your griddle on the igniter so that you don't hit the button before remembering to take this off and heating it up okay so that's kind of cool they thought of thought of that so here we have some instructions so not much to it oh that's kind of cool with a uh, diagram of how to cut it to size so let's look at this real quick instructions say Remove from packaging, let rest on a flat surface. Uh, it may retain some slight rolling form from when it was shipped. Okay, so we need to let it sit out for a little bit. We'll do that in just a minute. Uh, use the trim to fit guide, which is on the reverse side, to find which pattern to cut your griddle mat to. So since it's silicone, we could cut it pretty easily and it looks like it's trimmed to fit so you can cut it to fit whatever size. And it even says here, I have a 36 inch, 36 inch griddle do not require, does not require trimming. It says to clean the griddle mat using warm soapy water only. It is not dishwasher safe. Clean the griddle top and apply a light coat of oil on the cook surface, which is how we reseason anyway. Place the griddle mat gloss side down to seal against surface. Use griddle mat on cooling griddle on, on a cool griddle only. Remove before heating. So I think this is interesting because one of the things that I've been hearing from some of my other fellow griddlers out there in the griddle nation is the concern that with this sitting on top of the griddle it may seal in some moisture and cause rust to form and i think the intention is for this to resist that and it sounds like what they're saying is if you use this properly which means that you put that light coat of oil on and then put this on top of it that that will seal it off which makes sense and that will keep it from collecting moisture underneath so that makes sense, and that seems to address that issue. And this says, enjoy your griddle mat. Uh, while it helps to provide protection to your griddle surface from oxidation, which is the issue that people were worried about with the trapping moisture, from rust and from rodents and debris. And rodents, this right here, is the number one reason why I wanted this. So I don't have many issues with rust. In fact, I've never had rust form on my griddle before because I take really good care of it. But since mine is outside all the time, I do get rats. We have, I've learned that rats are attracted to grease. And so I have had rats getting up on top of my griddle at night and they end up pooping and other stuff all over my griddle top and then you got to sanitize it and clean it and do all this stuff before you could cook on it so 
obviously this is meant to address that which is the main reason why I was interested so if you look here it has the guide for cutting it to size for a 30 inch a 28 inch or the 28 inch with the deep fryer it says important for best uh, for best fitment trim along the outside edge specified for your size griddle okay so I think we look at this I'm gonna roll it out here oh yeah here let me turn this around so you guys can see it look at that so like it said this side is very shiny very sleek which is the side that's supposed to go down on the griddle itself and that's the side that would help seal it with the oil this side is not shiny it's got that kind of nice matte finish but it still has that feel of that silicone on it I really like the uh, the orange that they put on here because it's just going to make it fit right in with all the other Blackstone things. Uh, nice big logo here. It's nice and heavy duty and thick, so it's a nice quality product. And when you when it's talking about cut on the outside edge of the trim, that's what these lines are for. Because I think depending on the size griddle you have, you can cut it along these lines and it will fit on your griddle top and if you do a really nice job cutting it like that then this will look really sleek and really nice on your griddle just like it does here without me having to cut it luckily i have a 36 inch so i'm not going to have to cut it so i also got the griddle mat hanger which i'm very excited that they thought of this too because one of the things that would be an issue with this is I pull it off to cook and where am I putting it? Do I need to set it on a chair? Am I gonna have to put it somewhere? So they were smart and they came out with this metal griddle mat hanger. Ooh, and this is really nice. It's got like this brushed steel feel to it, like that matte finish and it's nice and black. Again, black with that orange on it so it matches the Blackstone stuff really like that and it looks like you attach it onto like maybe one of your shelves using screws in those holes right there and I guess the difference of holes are probably for depending on which version you have where the holes will be placed so let's see what it comes with here so it's a an allen screw not a regular screw and it got, they did include the allen wrench it's like ikea and it has the bolts on the other side there for the other side of the screws it comes with oh a nice little decal sticker you guys can, probably can't see it but it's a cutout sticker that says keep it covered i love stickers i'm going to start putting my uh, all my griddle and stickers all over something out here so i can display them and then we have our directions here, which has very nice full color pictures showing exactly what you need and what to do. Looks like you want to level it, draw where the holes are going to be, and they're recommending actually drilling into your shelf and screwing it in. So you're going to drill a hole put the screws in there it looks like they're asking you to put both screws in and then you tighten them with the allen wrench and then you can see here on that last picture that is what it's for you can pull this off and hang it off the side of the shelf which I think is perfect I'm super excited about that I'm going to get this thing uh, set out on my griddle and I'm going to get this uh, holder installed and then we'll check it out from there I kind of thought that I'd be able to take these pegs that are right here out and just use their existing screws in that peg hole. So the problem is, while the screws are the same size, if you look, the thread on this screw is bigger than the thread on this screw, which means this actually will not feed into here and will not work. So then I thought, okay i want to use these existing holes and so i'm going to just drill into just the holes that i'm going to use and then use that well that creates a new problem so when you go to drill into it you could see that those holes have this welded on nut 
and therefore you would have to be drilling into that nut and that is not working really well. What I have determined is I am going to have to do what the directions say. And that's me being a typical man who wants to make things work the way I want them to work instead of doing what they say to do. And so I'm guessing that they have thought of this because if you look here, these two holes that they included, if I line them up here, both holes on both sides, when centered, will wrap perfectly around these holes. So they avoid it altogether. And the reason for that is, is what I just showed you before, is there is a nut actually uh, welded on on the back back here that you cannot drill into when you try to drill. So they obviously thought of that and made the included holes wrap around here. So if you save yourself some time, if you try to do this, and instead of trying to do like I did and rig it so that um, you don't have to drill holes, just do what the directions say and drill the holes. Now I should be able to feed these screws right into those holes. It looks like that works nicely. There it is. I got it all installed. Just to kind of give you a look of what it looks like installed on there. I like how it looks. It's not super intrusive. Honestly, I don't miss those pegs at all just because I never hardly used them anyway because I have all this other stuff going on over here for storage so with all this stuff going I didn't really ever use those pegs and plus I have additional pegs there and there and there so for me not a big loss okay I do wish that we had figured out a way to just make use of the existing holes so that I didn't have to drill holes in here. Because now this has basically just become a permanent part of my griddle because I did have to drill holes into it. But that's okay. If this product works as well as I hope it does, then I don't mind having it as a permanent part of my griddle. It's kind of like a paper towel holder. You could always use one, right? So let's look at the mat itself. All right, so here we have the actual mat itself here, okay? So let's see how this actually fits on the 36 inch Pro Series. Look at that. It is just about a perfect fit. Very nice. So if I bring you in for a closer look here, you can kind of see that we've got a nice fit. Now they said, leave this sit out for a bit and it's gonna flatten out. So we do have a little bit of a curve here, but that's because it's brand new out of the box still. We haven't had given it that time to sit, but it does for the most part lay pretty flat. It does sit really nicely inside the 36 inch. What I appreciate is it does have a little bit of space here, right? And when this, assuming this lays flat and we can put that oil underneath it to give it that nice seal like it talks about, then that should be okay. And that extra little bit of space makes it easier to get in and out. Because if it was too tight there, it would be hard to pull it out and to grab hold of it and to put it in there right, right? So I could see there being some concern those people who are worried about water buildup underneath with that little bit of extra space there, there is that potential. Keep in mind that I'm going to continue to use my covers that I have. So I have this hard cover on top and I have the uh, soft cover that goes on top of that. But remember, the reason I wanted this was because I have an issue with rats because on this hard cover, 
See, I have a nice garden back there that attracts rats. And then on this hard cover, you've got this big old gap in the back here and they climb right up in there and they really like grease. Rats really like the grease. And so they're back there eating the grease, hanging out and partying on top of my uh, griddle surface there and leaving droppings and all kinds of nonsense on top of there, which means anytime I come out here to cook, which is almost every day, and I open that thing up and I see poop and stuff from the night before, I now have to take time to clean and sanitize it. And I really, just the idea of them being on a surface that I'm cooking on and pooping and stuff just really grosses me out. So I really appreciate this mat because it is going to solve that problem for me. And don't forget that this did come with this handy dandy little thing because you don't wanna forget and turn your griddle on. I don't know that I ever would because I always open the lid before I turn it on. But in case you don't and you leave the lid closed when you turn it on, this is a nice little reminder and it just goes right on there. And you leave it hanging there just as a, oh yeah, I have a griddle mat on. I need to remember to take that off before I hit that button. So I'm gonna take my mat. So let's say I'm about to cook something. I'm gonna take my mat off fold it over like this and I could just slide it right on. It's the perfect size and it hangs so nicely right there. And look how, look how nice that looks. So it's made perfectly. I like the, I like the fact that I have this holder. I really definitely recommend getting the holder uh, if you're going to get this mat. Otherwise you're going to be looking for a place to set the, the mat anytime you pull it off in order to cook and it doesn't fold up nicely because it is that thicker silicone. So this is the perfect solution for it if you're gonna use one. So there you have it. That is my unboxing and installation of the Griddle Mat, a brand new product that just came out not too long ago from a great new little company. So make sure that you uh, go check them out at their website. Again, griddlemat.com spelled with a Y and no E. So just pay attention to the spelling there and uh, go check them out. The mat itself, they only sell one size because obviously you could cut it to whatever size you want, right? And so they sell the one size, it's $64.99, so 65 bucks for the mat. And then the holder, if you buy it separately, is I believe $29.99, so $30. But they also have a package deal where you could get both of them for, I believe it's $84.99 or $85. So you save like 10 bucks if you go ahead and just buy them both together. And like I said, I don't think, unless you just know that you have the perfect place where you're gonna just put this mat or you feel like you're gonna build your own little uh, holder to hang it on, um, I don't know that it's worth buying the mat without getting the holder, just because I'd be trying to figure out all the time where to put this thing. And like I said, because of how thick the silicone is, you don't, you, you can't really fold it up and put it anywhere. See, it doesn't want to fold, right? So you could roll it up, but then it's going to have all that oil and stuff on it. And yeah, you're supposed to clean it, but you're talking about every time you pull it off, you're going to have to pull it off, go rinse it off and clean it and then roll it up and then set it to the side and then cook. So if you have the holder, you can just pull it off, hang it, cook, pull it off the holder, put it right back on, clean it when you need to. So I definitely recommend getting the package deal. Go ahead and get both of them at the same time. So go check them out. Let me know what you think. You can comment uh, down below. Have you seen the griddle mat? Is this something that you consider getting? Is this something that you uh, perceive being a solution to any of your problems, what things I've seen some people struggling with leaving their griddles outside and getting rust on them from weather and getting debris like leaves and stuff on them and you know stuff like that depending on where your location is. Maybe this is a good thing for you. But then again, I'm hearing from some people that they're concerned about moisture getting under, underneath and rust getting underneath. So I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Are you considering one? Would it work for you? And maybe it's just not the kind of thing that you need because yours is in the garage all the time. Who knows? So let me know down in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna do a follow-up review for this after I've had it for a little bit of time and let you know how it's going. 
Did it solve my problem? Did I get rust? Was there any issues with it? Okay, I'll let you know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.